All right, welcome everybody to the podcast. This is the sixth installment of the podcast, and yes, we are not sponsored, so whatever we say is our own. You know, we are not being pushed to say anything, I'll, I'll say that. But uh, for the most part, I'm surprised we made it to the sixth episode because, you know, sometimes things get started and they just die instantly. But I'm going to continue doing the podcast because I enjoy it. And if you haven't checked it out on SoundCloud yet, the fifth episode will be up on SoundCloud. You're always going to be an episode behind. YouTube comes first, and then uh, SoundCloud later. Um, so SoundCloud has all the episodes. If you miss them and you want to listen hands-free and all that stuff, you can do that there. Um, just sign up. The link will be down in the description. Everybody that's here, their links will be down in the description as well. We have D20. We have Joel, a.k.a. Nobody Epic. We have Shadow Hat on Motherfucking Beats. And we have Sidearms for Reason and myself. We are all here on the podcast. This is just a, a crew episode. No guests today. We decided to bring it old school and just have a general chat about... 2016, because right now, as we're recording this, it is still 2016, but we are moving very fast into 2017, and uh, we want to talk about some New Year's resolutions that we've had in the past, the ones we've had now. We also want to talk about 2017 and what it's going to bring, uh, what you're expecting, and just kind of an all-around just conversation. That's what we're trying to do today. But um, yeah, first of all, Let's talk about New Year's resolutions. I hate New Year's resolutions uh, for the most part just because I feel like everyone else's New Year's resolution is usually I'm going to go on a diet. I don't think necessarily going on a diet is like the first thing that you should think about because every, everybody's kind of goes down the drain. I, there is that 1% that people get on a diet and they do a good job of it. But I think it, it for me... Uh, I do want to lose weight in 2017, uh, but it's not like it is a number one priority. I think pro- people's priorities with weight is always always at the top one, too. I don't, I don't really understand that, but um, I think it needs to be a gradual thing. I think it's healthy for your body. I think it's also the best way to go is not to kill yourself with one of these crazy diets. I think a lot of people get on these crazy diets where they're drinking all prune juice, they're drinking, you know, all pickle juice, or just something crazy, it seems like, all the time, that people are going on something diet, and everybody's body's different, and I feel like if you just try to do it gradually by, like, cutting out some sweets, cutting out Cokes, uh, substituting with water, and just uh, eating smaller portions, at the end of the day, within a year, you're going to lose that, you know, five to ten pounds that you're really looking for, maybe even more than that, you might get on a healthy kick, I'm talking no exercise, and just, you know, that kind of stuff. So uh, I feel like mine for 2017 is I want to put more effort into my YouTube, my Twitch, uh, my family time, and also my friends. I want to put more time in spending with my friends and just chilling out. I feel like as YouTubers and as streamers and people that put out uh, content, we, we sometimes get a little bit too... Um, I don't know. We get busy and we, we're like very focused on getting the next thing done. I have to work daily and just get this done. Um, I know some people say this a lot and uh, I just got on to people for saying uh, the whole diet thing a lot. But I, I feel like I really want to make quality content over uh, just making a lot of content. So, um, you know, quality over quantity kind of thing. But, Amen, Philly. But uh, I feel like that's something that uh, I really do need to sit down and look at myself and say, hey, this is what you need to do. I think it's going to be less stress on me. Um, and then also, I will feel satisfied at the end of the day when I'm putting out content. Um, and back to the weight thing, I, like I said, I do want to lose weight. Uh, I'm, I'm about about 173 right now, and I want to get down to 165, which is a pretty healthy thing. Losing you know eight pounds is not, not too bad. It's not too hard. Um, but, you know, I want to do that over a year. I don't want to do that in the first month or the first two weeks or anything like that. I want to do that over uh, a year. And, you know, I'm sitting about 5'10 right now, about 173. And, I mean, I'm not big by any means, and I'm not uh, skinny by any means either. Right. So, um, yes, you I saw you at Joel's wedding. <laughs> but I, I really want to lose some weight, and I feel like it would be healthy for me. And I feel like when you do lose that weight, I feel like you kinda, you feel better about yourself and you also – feel like you can do a lot more stuff. You, you get kind of energized uh, with that whole thing. But what about you guys? Uh, Shout out, what, what is your New Year's resolution? What do you think about the whole thing and, mm-hmm. and as a whole? I don't have a New Year's resolution. Like, I'm I, I'm, 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 I'm mixed about how I feel about New Year's resolutions. Like, I don't understand why it has to be on 
New Year's. Like, I get, like... The okay, name, yeah. So it's just, like, oh, it's, it's just, like, first day of the new year, and I guess, like, it's easy to keep track of how long you have to go for, like, a year. But, like, I don't understand, like, why can't... Why, why can't you make a resolution in, like, November to... I, I don't know, like, even something small. Like, m- maybe lose weight's a bad idea at that point because thanksgiving and all that but i mean like make a resolution to swear less like why not make that resolution in like october or november it's just or instead of saying oh you know what I, i'll wait until january to make my life better and then i'll try it i just i i think i i don't really find there's any significance to like New Year's Day or or whatever, it's just some arbitrary date that some dude randomly picked. And like, even if you think about it, like, if you think about it, like as far as the seasons go, like, it, it's it's not like on like a solstice or an equinox or anything. It's it's like it's kind of after the winter solstice. And, and like, why went? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just rambling. But I don't think there's any significance. So I don't understand why like. I don't want to have, like, a New Year's resolution. If I think of something, I don't care if it's in January. I don't care if it's in May. Like, I'll just be like, okay, I'm going to do it. Do you have, like, a goal for the year, Shadow? Do you have anything for 2017 that you want to get accomplished? Not really. I mean, there's the, you know, I've I've been working on trying to gain weight for the past four or five years but it hasn't really happened so i, I think metabolism has a lot to do with that i think as you're getting no, older I, it's going to catch up with eat. you a little bit i no, it i don't eat <laughs> you just don't eat you're just it, one of those guys it, do you eat like one meal a day is that something that you do no it's 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 two or three like but it, it's like it's the it's pretty much the same thing and they're not like they're not big meals um so small but portions. again like i, I haven't like again, this is where it's kind of stupid. Like I haven't had, I, I've told you, I haven't had red meat in five over five years now. Vegan like, confirmed. Like, That's your boyfriend's really, Matt. No, <laughs> I'm vegan. Like, I'm, like I've, I've had, like I'll eat chicken and ham and turkey and all that shit. This red meat now, but it's just like I haven't had a steak. I Does your body burger. not like um, respond to it well, or have you found out I, anything no, from I'm, that? I'm, a, you... I'm afraid to. Like, what do you mean you're afraid to? So back in 2011, like I got sick, mm-hmm. like and it was like just some weird thing where like I couldn't, I like I I couldn't eat anything like to the point where like if I, uh, like if I brought food up to my mouth, like I would start feeling nauseous. Huh. And so, like, I went probably three weeks just eating, like, crackers and drinking water. Lost, I think, like, 30, 40 pounds in three weeks. What? Yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't good. I, I used to be good. I used to be at, like, 160, but then I dropped down to 120. And like, I Oh, my God. That's, yeah, that's like death. Dude, I know. I haven't told you this. Like, I think you, I've heard a little bit about this. I didn't know what the He's weight told- proportions were. He's t- I, I felt like he's told everyone this because I knew. Yeah. No, I like I knew yeah. that he lost uh, weight. I didn't know how far he lost. Forty pounds from one sixty to one twenty no, is but, ridiculous. No, it was yeah, it was bad. Um, but like since since then, uh, like I had heard kind of like horror stories of uh, like vegetarians and vegans and and stuff um, trying to introduce meat back into their diet. Yeah, and like. You know, it just doesn't agree with them. Like, mm-hmm. it gives them stomach aches. And I'm, I'm sh- you know, the more and more research I've done on it, like, it would probably be fine. Like, you could go 10 years without having meat. And then, you know, as long as, like, you don't overdo it. If you have, like, half a hamburger, you're good and just slowly do it. But um, I, I haven't been able to take that first step. It's just, like, kind of a mental block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, like, I think a lot of it is mental. I, th- I think so, part of it is, yeah. It's completely mental. Um, and, and I don't want, I, I like, I don't think of this as like an uncommon thing. By the way, I don't know what the like if the comments are gonna say like they they've not heard of something like this, but 
Uh, I know like Megan's had this like block before with certain types of foods. I've I, I've had this thing where I, I I only ate like brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts for a month in college because I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna die. Anything else? Yeah, yeah. You swear to God, this dude ate the whole. First of all, broke. Yeah, first of all, broke. But second of all, think if I eat anything else, I'm gonna die. I I, well, I I thought I was gonna get like sick. Like Shadow and I both haven't thrown up since the mid '90s. So, uh, but I I like tested a lot more than he does for the both of us. Uh, But yeah, I I thought I was gonna get sick for a period in college. I I like I was like sick for two days, and then I thought I was gonna be. I I don't know. I just had this weird mental thing where it was like my first time away from home, and I thought I was gonna die. But that's it's uh, not it's not uncommon for adolescents to have that type of like mental block or not. Shout out not an adolescent, but like young adults is what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, So I mean to to bring it back to the the New Year's resolution thing, like I don't know if you would call it a New Year's resolution, but if I were to continue one that I made in November of 2011, it's have a steak, have a burger. Like, I can't, yeah. I can't go that long without a steak or a yeah, burger. I need like, a steak right now. <laughs> right? Damn. Steak's so good, dude. I had one last week. <laughs> oh, we did too. It's so weird, though, because, like, just every year I, like, picture, like, you know, January 1st or whatever. Just like, man, like, I'm going to get to December 31st and like I will have had a burger and everything. And then December 31st comes like, wow, really? Like I still haven't had it. It's amazing. So like, I just kind of take life as it kind of comes, you know, like I, I don't put too much stock in new year's resolution, which I mean, let's be real here because you're trying to force it. That's why most of them fail. Like you're, you're trying that's to, what gyms, that. that's what gyms are, are it, hoping for that you'll buy a membership and then never show up. Oh yeah, that yeah. happens a lot. That's a big money maker for them. That's why all the commercials they make like ninety percent of their money in right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Resolutions fail because you're trying to force it and you're not ready for it. Like you set a deadline for yourself and you know you just try to force this change. Boom! Like if you, it's a lot better to just set a goal and then just gradually you're ready go. Yeah, anyway, I like it, man. I like it. That was good. Now. Um. I'm just intrigued with the whole like the weight loss thing, man. That that had to be like a tough time for you. What what was the first thing that you ate when you came back, like when you came out of the cracker stage? Ah, uh, like what a racist stuff? way to, what a racist way to phrase it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want you to uh, rephrase that for the sake of our you know careers. No. <laughs> no. We are crackers. We don't. Okay, go ahead. This, oh my god! I, I keep I keep forgetting this part. Probably because I block it out of my mind because it pisses me off. So I used to work at a cheesesteak shop, as you know. No, oh, yeah, well, and they're like, our sponsor. Shout out. <laughs> Shout when, out. <laughs> when I got the, uh, like when I got over the whole sickness and like started eating things again, like I would eat cheesesteaks, you know, and it would be fine and just like cool, awesome, and like you know I have a steak every single day just like normal, and then the place closed down. And those son of a bitches. So like I went a month, like it, it, it changed ownerships and it was like it was closed down for a month and then like remodeled and shit like that. Um I remember this time. Right and it. then I what went a time. Bella. What a time. <laughs> and then I went with like, I went a month without having a cheesesteak. And that's where this all started. So I guess you could say it it hasn't it's gonna be like five years in March. Since I've had any red meat. Damn. Five yeah. years? No, this... I remember when the like the shop was closing and stuff. Maybe I remember after it was like trying to reopen or something like that. I didn't think... I was thinking like three years ago. No. No, no three no, years was... ago is like... No, no, I don't even tell you. Like, it, it's flown by. Like, if I told you something, a video that happened three years ago, you'd be like, no way. That'd be yeah, like a year, was, year, two years it, ago. It was 2011. Oh. But, yeah. All of our videos were can't wait for GTA Five. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was a good times. <laughs> GTA Five ever coming out? Yeah, dude. Right, and, hey, New Year's resolution for uh, 2017 D4. Uh-huh, Red Dead Redemption. Dude, I already knew, bro. No, I went by GameStop the other day, and they had a fucking poster in front. I thought about walking in and stealing that bitch. Not even joking. <laughs> it's my <laughs> it's my phone wall. Oh yeah, yeah. They sent uh, they sent out uh, promotional items last week. Yeah, so that that was yeah, like, like news. Pre-order. 
or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the pre-orders for the GameStop. So, yeah, it's my phone background, and it's remaining my phone background until the day it comes out, and probably is, afterwards. Is it set to come uh, out next? How does your year? wife and cat feel about not uh, being your my wife's like, <laughs> Oh, this would be a beautiful phone background. Oh, so too bad. Put it on your phone. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's set to come out in fall you got of uh, 2017. That's I, I. That's the most hyped I've been for. A video game game. since I've been friends with you guys, I think, because Red Dead Redemption has meant so much. Well, I was really hyped for Borderlands 2, and Borderlands 2 was a great game, and I was hyped for Borderlands 3, and Borderlands 3 was not such, or the pre sequel was not such a great game. But uh, GTA uh, Red uh, Sharks, it's coming out. Uh, I I would like GTA doesn't like. I, I like the I like Rockstar as a game company, but to mm. to really take a game over the edge, it has to for me it has to have like the nostalgia factor. And I never played the GTAs like growing up, like uh, uh, all of it did, and like some a lot of a lot of us did, I guess. Um, and I know Speedy did, but uh, like Red Dead, it was just like that was one really terrible like summer for me, just you know working a, a low wage job and. He just broke and living with, with, with living with my parents because I was just uh, out of high school, but only like a freshman in college and trying to save up money. And like the highlight of that summer was getting Red Dead Redemption at the start of the summer and playing it like all through uh, May and June. <clears throat> so that's that that has like the nostalgia factor for me to make it like an over the top great video game to be super hyped for the sequel and how far video games have come now to see if they can do. I can't wait till GTA they put Tron, Tron horses in it. Tron bikes. <laughs> yeah. Tron horses. Uh, yo, Joel, I got on there, you know, when they re-released re, re it for Xbox, uh, the remastered mm-hmm. or whatever. I got back on, and um, and at first I couldn't recover my account, and then I recovered my account. Uh, it was some stupid thing you had to do with the cloud, whatever. But anyways, I got on, and I recovered my account, and I thought when I played the game, like I put in a bunch of hours in that game, just running around the, like the... I said this a hundred times, but the music in that game is like ten out of ten. It's like the best. They, they went like soundtrack of the environment. Of the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like the best, but it makes me chill out. Whatever. Um, so I, I remember, like, man, it was so hard to level up. But I went back and I leveled up uh, just you know probably a couple months ago, and it was so easy to level up. Like I'm, I was like in the fifties or whatever. Uh, it's like pretty high for that game, but. By the time I was done, I was like, dang, man, this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I remember just playing this game, and it was really, really hard to level up. Double and, XP weekend? Yeah, it was. I think it might have been. Uh, but it was, like, so easy to, to level up and to uh, to play the game, and, and it was a lot easier. I guess because we have, like, more game sense now. We have uh, a little bit more grasp on on uh, each of the games. Like, when I first played it, I was kind of newbie to it because I guess I didn't really understand uh, the concepts of it and all that other stuff, um, but I don't know. It just it was kind of cool going back and taking a break from it for for a year or two and going back to it and it just I had different outlook on the game. But it, still, my my thoughts all together have not changed on the game. I think it's uh, one of the top two games I've ever I've ever played. Yeah, it's some of the most fun I've ever had playing a game just because of like nothing. There's nothing else I was really that in, I wasn't really that interested in COD. I've been a little burnt out on COD because I was right. That was like. Right after I started playing COD a lot, and then just like kind of stopped, and then I got into it heavily the next year, obviously, because that's when I started my YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, it, I, I'm, uh, that's my <laughs> that's something I'm looking forward to. Not really a New Year's resolution. Like Red Dead Redemption Two is going to be some heavy content, and if we have YouTube channels in the fall, Joel, let me uh, let me break down your little schedule from what I've heard so far in the podcast. So you wake up, you get yourself a nice pop tart, okay. You eat your pop tart. I don't eat pop tarts anymore. No, back then you eat your pop tart. I have an adult job. Oh yeah. You go. <laughs> you go job. to school. Then you I go to work. I make adult money. I don't have an adult job. <laughs> <laughs> then you eat another pop tart. You play Red Dead, and then you go to sleep and repeat. So pop tarts, yeah. Red Dead, and school and work was your like. Your well, life it right wasn't. There. No, no, no. I wasn't. Um, it was the summer, so I wasn't in school at that time. It was the summer between um, my. Oh, you should took summer one, summer year. two. It was the summer between my freshman year of college and like so my freshman year of college I went to Grand Valley and like met Megan and uh she so like um, you met her at that college? Yeah, yeah. I never Grand knew Valley that State story, in Grand yeah. Rapids. Yeah, yeah. I thought and you were then, high school sweethearts. What the fuck? No. Oh, okay. No, we didn't we went to high school in like, the same general area but we didn't um know each other until college like our freshman year. We were in the same dorm. Um <laughs> oh, yeah, but the uh like so that summer i knew i had to go back to um like go back to the lansing area to save money because it was like i just couldn't support myself i i I, I mostly i just didn't want to work and i had like a guaranteed job uh working in 
in, in like the Lansing area, I already had like work, you know. So I, I was just working there, and it was just lame as hell, and nothing was really going on because you're, I, I don't know. I, I was like kind of, I'm antisocial anyway, but uh, it, it feels like other people are doing stuff, and you're kind of just stuck. So, but the, you know, that video game was cool. Yeah, big time. It's uh, it was a big part of my summer as well that year um new year's resolution for you though joel do you have one or do you have a goal for 2017 <clears throat> yeah well um i, I do want to get like there are some things and I, yeah I, it's not like set in stone I, I don't know if it'll happen and i should make an effort to, towards it but i i would like to get healthier in general just that's i mean that's something that we especially get away from and a lot of people get away from uh, over the holidays but i i just my back is um I need to like actually make an effort to have a good back. Otherwise, I'll like uh, I'm gonna either need surgery soon or I'm I'm gonna it's just gonna be a, this persisting issue. Um, old man. D, hey, no, but D20s yeah. had some uh, problems. Uh, I don't know if it was your back D20, but the chiropractor. It's my neck. Yeah. Your neck. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I used to have like fine. headaches like daily. I started going to the chiropractor, and I still get them every once in a while, but. Like, it's a lot better. And his insurance more. covered a lot on that, too. He gets, like, some free sessions and stuff like that, Joe. I don't know if, what kind of insurance you have or if you have I insurance. I just lost my what? insurance. You and did? Megan, okay. like, I'm going to, we're going to pick it up when, with uh, with Megan's job. Like, I think she gets it again in, like, February. So I just won't be able to really do much uh, for, like, uh, dental or doctor stuff in January. But, uh, yeah, so I want to, I just want to focus on, like, being health. And I think just getting out and, like, exercising will, will be, uh, will really help uh just because i mean just sitting and then i did like a little bit of physical activity and it just felt like i threw my back out again and it just really hurt um and i need to start wearing uh soles again i was talking about this last night but since my uh, like the cause of my back issue is that my left leg is an inch longer than my right leg so my left leg takes all the shock of like general movement stuff and it uh it's deteriorated my lowest lumbar uh in my spine so I just, my back gets inflamed really easily. Uh, I don't know. Some doctors explained it to me. I don't even know if that made sense the way I explained it. But um, anyway, so I want to, I just want to have a healthier like back and not feel like I, I, I feel like my body is aged more this year than it has in a while. And, uh, and just be healthier in general. Like I haven't been to the dentist in like two or three years. Like that's kind of like yeah, a youth. No reason to go. Yeah, yeah well, it's just, it's just as like kind of like a twenty, like in your twenties, you're kind of just like, what do I do with? Like, how do I life? Brush so my I, teeth. So yeah, I need to go to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, certain. exactly. They say yeah. now that flossing isn't a big deal. A lot of people, uh, I've seen a lot of studies saying that flossing is not a big deal. That if you do it, it's it's okay, but it's actually like, uh, I, I do it because pain turns yeah. me on. I figured you did. I, I like, you like yeah, to I bleed. Like, right? I like hurting the gums. Yeah, I like when it bleeds. I just floss and then jerk and then uh, go to sleep. It's my nightly routine. Oh, wow. Do you guys not have dental health insurance? Yeah. I lost my insurance this year. I turned 26. Well, yeah, but before. But I'm saying like uh, like the, the cleanings are free, at least for me, like what, twice a year. Yeah, if they when they get you in for the cleaning side, you notice they try to look for cavities. When they look for cavities, they're trying to do fillings. If they do fillings, they're trying to do root canals and root canals. They're trying to get you whole new fucking brand new teeth. How about that? That's what mm -hmm. they all turn into. I mean, as long as you brush your teeth, I mean, it's not like the cleaning's hurting. Yeah, as long as you brush your teeth, why should you have to go? <laughs> no, because they're I'll doing be a better job. Take take the day off of brushing. Like teeth wise, like my dad, he has really good teeth. Like uh, it's like genetic wise. I swear to God. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on this, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not because I'm always right. But anyways, uh, my dad has like really good teeth. Like he he doesn't ever have to go. His his uh, enamel and all that stuff build up uh, is really good. He's got all that. Uh, really good teeth and this never breaks down my mom has really bad teeth like uh, always like chipping just braille it's not very like great and I got her teeth and uh, up until this point I've had to, I haven't had a lot of dental work um, but like I've never had a root canal or anything like that but uh, like I get I got cavities like at a young age and I'd never like I always brushed my teeth and I always had uh, cavities it didn't matter how many how much how much time I had to brush my teeth. Uh, now my little brother, he got, he's never had a cavity in his life and he, I'm, I've never seen him brush his teeth once in my whole entire life. And so he's got like my dad's gender, I swear to God. Uh, not that his teeth are bad or anything like that, but uh, he has pretty teeth. He has actually straight teeth and it makes me, I'm pissed because I had to get Invisalign to kind of fix mine and all that stuff. But um, 
His, Did you guys uh, brush your teeth when you were younger? Sorry, yeah, like it was just a nightly routine. I only did it once. Now I brush my teeth twice. When I get up in the morning, I just have to because I feel like it's the dirtiest thing ever. And I feel it, like it I'm getting really sick right now. Yeah, it's really there. uncomfortable. And I, I feel like I can't even talk without it. Uh, something, you know, like having bad breath or whatever. And then at night, right before I go to bed, I, I do it as well because everything you've eaten in between the day. I don't, like, brush after a meal or anything like some people yeah. say you should. I don't I do always, that because I don't have I time. I always do that. And I, I, like, I like the taste of uh, coffee a lot. But, and I think, like, coffee in your on, like, someone's breath is, like, not a good smell. So I always brush my teeth after I drink that. And I like the taste of my toothpaste. What kind do you get? I always get the whitening <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> It's um, it's not Colgate. It's the other one that starts with a C. Crest. Uh, Crest. Yeah, Crest. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, it's like, like Crest whitening. Spearmint. Yeah. Spearmint whitening. So you or, basically I, eat it. I I don't know if it's spearmint though. It's like fresh. I think it might be mint? fresh mint actually. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just mint in general. Yeah, because yeah, spearmint's like a strong mint, but. Is it um, white with the green strip on it? In it yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, man. No, no, no. It's green with a white strip. Oh well, fuck. What a matter. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, hey, if it doesn't, if it doesn't matter, it's purple with the tie dye print. What do you want? Why I need to? Why would I need to be accurate? Hey, I didn't fucking finish my resolutions. By go ahead, go ahead. You guys Sorry. are selfish. Gotta talk about your fucking whatever. Um, uh, so yeah, the healthier I should be healthier. Um, and this was like the first year uh, of my like uh, adult life where I actually kind of felt like an adult because you you kind of like. Like things don't make a lot of you know sense to you. Like how you you don't feel very adult. I feel like until you maybe I, I guess I'm at this age, but you're just like wow. I feel like I felt like I would know a lot more stuff when I turned 18 or 19 or 21 or whatever number you make up. But this was the first year where I felt like I uh, was a lot more mature and uh, understood a lot more adult things. So uh, continuing down that line, I'd like to like evolve more on youtube if possible that's always difficult but just like get, get better about my scheduling which i have been a lot better about i've uploaded more videos this year than i think any other year. i'm actually i'm pretty sure any other year on youtube even though the start of the year was really slow and uh just get, i'm proud of you joe get, be, get better about that and stuff and i feel so like your that, video quality hasn't went down so i like it i appreciate it. yeah well the, my problem is i like i'd like to have videos that like are solid like that people appreciate that i didn't come up with in 2012 that's a big goal like my yeah. my most watched series are like old things so i'd like a new thing but uh dong won by on a decision by the way for the yeah. uh the fight dong dong yeah I saw that. Name, by the way we're watching UFC. ufc right now um 207 yeah 207 and watching ronda arouse me um that's what Joel calls her, but you know, I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. So whatever. Um, Don could be so GSP if we talk right about now. some stuff, it, you know where we're at. Um, but anyways, um, New Year's resolution for you, D twenty. Um, I don't know. I guess I mean, like I said last time when we talked about this, <laughs> that I would like to lose weight, but I feel like that we're beating a dead horse with that. Um, but like the. Uh, like I think the main thing, like if you're if you're really like wanting to lose weight, not just because like oh I look fat when I take selfies or something like that. It's like if you're really wanting to get healthy and stuff like that. I think the main thing is like set small goals and try to build your way up instead of being like oh, I'm going to lose forty pounds, you know, in 2017. Just kind of set like a goal, like smaller stuff. Like I'm going to quit eating so many sweets or I'm going to quit eating after 8 p.m. or you know just small stuff to like build your way up instead of like i'm gonna go to the gym every day i'm gonna lose 40 pounds i'm gonna like all this kind of stuff i feel like that's why people don't stick with it is because they set some kind of unrealistic goal without them setting something small to build up to and uh, so that's pretty much all i got on that but um i was gonna go back to like the uh, shadow was talking about like the having like the mental block with food kind of thing um like i have like a thing with that because when i was I don't know, probably like in sixth grade or something like that uh me and my friend that lived next door to me like we ate like a bunch of hot dogs and then we went to the fair 
and we ended up like throwing up everywhere <laughs> and stuff and so like till this day like if i eat a hot dog like i get like just sick to my stomach like i've tried to like you know like not i don't know it's just like a hundred percent mental thing it's not anything about hot dogs because like i can eat like a sausage i mean i can deep throw it without chewing you know <laughs> but uh but like if it's a like a hot dog like a regular hot dog i've tried like numerous times since i was adult be like you know there's nothing else to eat i'll just heat up a hot dog and like i eat it and i feel just like shitty like immediately so like yeah. i definitely think it's like a a mental kind of block thing or whatever although i mean there are um there are pros and cons to eating healthier and not eating as much red meat and stuff like that eating although paranoid Although I, I don't know what I'd do without steak. I know, right? That's a mistake. That's what that <laughs> That's is. That's a mistake. So, <laughs> do do any of you guys have any like foods that like if you eat you it, eat, you just yeah. like you just like stay away from it, like you're not gonna <laughs> touch it. Oh, let's see. Do we do we have? Yeah, shadows list minutes, would be pretty so long. <laughs> what about you, Sad? You got any crazy foods that you can't eat? Uh, I well, I I don't want to eat hot dogs. Like I I'll eat it if I need to. I guess like right. if my uh, like if they're grilling or whatever and they have hot dogs, I'll eat it. But I won't, you know, like I won't go to Burger King and be like, hey, can I have a hot dog? Um, Mostly because they're the Burger King, not the hot dog king. <laughs> they, mean, they have they, hot dogs, they, though. They serve I know. Yeah, so who goes to a Burger King to get a hot dog? <laughs> I don't well, know. Some people do. I don't, I don't, it's not, you know, I wouldn't do it if it was my choice is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like if they have something else, I usually get something else. And that's just because uh, I think it's just, it doesn't taste very good to me. And I know like how they're made and stuff. And like McDonald's shit is probably, I mean, it's worse than that. Like the chicken nuggets and stuff like that. Hey, don't, don't um, talk about the pink meat, bro. Calm down. Yeah, the pink meat. <laughs> yeah, Shadow has their problem with eating red meat, but what about pink meat, Shadow? <laughs> right. Um, oh, I mean, I, I would love to eat that pink meat, but I haven't had fast food in five years either. I'm sorry. And that was that was because I ate, uh, like, the last time I had Wendy's, I had Wendy's chicken nuggets. and Spicy chicken nuggets. It, it gave me diarrhea. And that, that <laughs> Tell was, us more about I that. I cleaned you out, what though. What color was it? Uh, October, October 16, 2011. Was the you last still have time. that picture? We'll put it Have you had Chipotle? Chipotle. Dude, Chipotle. You, the, the last Chipotle. time you had fast food was on my 21st birthday, October 16, 2011. 16. October 16, 2011 was my 21st birthday. Oh, the you said celebration. Birthday. Oh, no. 11, yeah. 11, 16, 11. Oh, November 16th? No, October. I'm an idiot. Oh, 10, 16, 11. 11. That was my 21st birthday, dude. <laughs> okay. So you celebrated my 21st birthday by having fast food. And in your butthole. 16, <laughs> 10 for everybody um, that's not from America. That was, that was my life. Yeah, the, the 16th <laughs> month. Yeah. yeah, 16, 10, 11. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, yeah. You had, have you had Chipotle, Shadow? No. It's, it's not either, quite so. the same. I don't know if you... Uh, I don't have cheese dip when I go. It's pretty fresh. Uh, I'm, I'm not going fresh. here. Me- Mexican food is not... So Whoa, my favorite. Whoa, that's my favorite. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> that, that, First the no. cracker joke, now the Mexican. <laughs> <food>. Take it. <laughs> Honestly, Mexican food is something that I've never touched before all this even started. Really? I, you don't fuck with no quesadillas, man. Uh, Mexican food is the best food all right. on the planet. Well, don't let Trump hear you say that. Cheese chokes your butt, man. <laughs> you won't be shitting for a whole week, man. Get some cheese dip in you. Mmm. Mmm. I, 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 I like how you side. asked I decided a question about the foods he doesn't like and he's like, Let me tell you about my hot dogs thing. <laughs> well I well I don't like a lot of stuff. Well, I, I eat them unless my mom brings it up to my room. Well you know what mine it's is side? down. Side, what's it's mine? down to your room. Sorry. Yours is potatoes. But I, hate but, but I cannot yeah. believe that, dude. Oh, French hey, fries are the best. Fries. Hey, I had those Chick Fil A waffle fries. Those waffle fries are really good. I really oh, thank like you. Those, those yeah. are some of the best fries I've had. Yeah. Hey, As people who dab? are personally yeah. invested, they really in taste the like they really taste like waffle. Maybe it was a mental thing, but I was like, what the fuck? these actually <laughs> taste like waffle. After I covered them in syrup, they're delicious. You guys don't eat syrup on your waffle fries. What kind of dipping sauce would you like? Be serious. They did like taste like waffle. They had like a waffle esque taste in my mouth and maybe it was just like um oh, very nice. i'm like oh this is what a waffle fry is supposed to taste like because i've never crazy. had i've never had one before but uh they it was really good i had the chick-fil-a sauce too nice. what'd you what think, you think? yeah well it was definitely honey mustard mixed with barbecue like okay. people say but it was still good you know what someone on twitter sent me a recipe on how to make it it, it did have barbecue sauce in it. it had honey it had uh it didn't have honey mustard but it did have mustard 
and honey. Or, they didn't um, have honey mustard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Two different impossible. things. <laughs> Two different things. Totally. That's honey mustard, but not honey mustard. Exactly. Um, and then they had some other little. It was like small things, but they mixed it up, and it looked just like I couldn't taste, it, of course, because it's a video. But um, yeah, it looked just it. like it. Just looks just like it. So I'll, I'll link you guys uh, down in the description if you want to learn how to make some Chick Fil A sauce. But I'm proud of you, Joel. Because you'll uh, forget, dude. This is the middle of the episode. No, no, no. no. D20 is my my link, man. He always he got me. He got me. Um, Who's but, the princess? <laughs> but um, to the potato thing again, like that that's crazy to me. Like I, if I had to eat one yeah, type of Irish. food. Yeah, well, oh. yeah, that too. But I think uh, potatoes aren't even f- like that. They are an Irish thing, but they didn't come up with the potato. Okay, whatever. Um, the potato but, famine. They but, didn't yeah. invent the potato. They just invented the potato waffle. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, um, but fries are like my favorite thing ever. Like I would eat potato skins. I eat fries. I eat hash browns. Like I cannot a baked potato, dude. I do. I do potatoes, man. And you, you're like anti potato. Was so, there a bad so like what's, thing to happen? What's your- I'm yeah, mostly yeah, well. Let's clarify. I'm mostly anti mashed potato. That's oh, really, that's the best. Am I right? Those are the that's best. the worst. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I like think French fries are better. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 eat, I do you eat and French Shadow fries. Over, so I, can I eat like all sweet, the steak and potatoes. I want. I like sweet potato <laughs> fries. I like those waffle fries. Um, I, don't, I don't fuck with baked sweet potato. potato that much. I'm not. I don't really fuck with baked potato either. It's basically just like cooked mashed potato. Um, <laughs> mashed potato with skin on it. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, baked. <laughs> Uh, but it's just, ve- it's vegetable pudding. Like, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's one of the, like, it's one of the, those things that I feel like I'm the only, like, I- I'm a crazy person because I- everyone in the world enjoys this, but, or, or not everyone, but it's seemingly everyone enjoys this one thing and I don't. So it makes yeah. me feel like I have, I'm, no, I'm a crazy you, person, man. but it, you. yeah, yeah, it, that's really what, I mean, truly and honestly what it feels like. I understand but, where you're coming from, Joel. I don't really like chocolate and everybody thinks I'm crazy. Yeah, that's his thing. Chocolate. I don't, yeah, I mean, I, I, so I just don't. You know, I like with. chocolate, but I understand not liking uh, or something that se- seemingly everybody likes. It just doesn't like it, the pitch. If you were to pitch me, if I was like the czar of food and I, I decided what foods people could eat, and uh, you you came into my office and like, all right, I'm gonna pitch you this hot idea, right? All right, so we grow this thing in the fucking dirt. All right, this is a <laughs> fucking piece of dirty vegetable. It's real dirty, and you pull it out of the ground. You gotta wash and the dirt off. It even off looks it. like dirt. Yeah. On the it, even, it just looks like a lump of dirt. And even if you wash the dirt off, there's still sounds dirt like on. a bad salesman. It just sounds like a bad... <laughs> okay, well, well okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, maybe I'm a little biased in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no wonder you're, you're homeless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder you need this salesman. Yeah. You fucking hate these things. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, and it's just it's co- no matter how many times you wash it, it's covered in dirt, and then you just crack it open and you just beat it with a fucking flat <laughs> object and then you just heat it up and eat it vegetable pudding right in your mouth delicious right and it's like not really <laughs> dude i'll eat potatoes with the skin on i'm not even fucking with you man the ones with the uh, salt on the outside you don't I'll eat fly. uncircumcised <laughs> <laughs> I never heard thought of it that way, but I'm down. I'm down. So what, what one of my favorite questions uh, sides ever asked me is, "Hey Joel, I know you don't like uh, mashed potatoes, but do you like hash browns?" Did you say that? Because wait, it's not yeah, mashed potatoes, but, so but, but, I don't no, see what I, the... I do. I also don't like hash browns. He had a good but question though, Joel. Qu- yeah, yeah, yeah. He was trying to quantify. What it. sides do you like though? If you don't get mashed yeah, like, potatoes, because most with? of them are like there's mashed potatoes. Okay, but I what if you have to choose two? Just double up. Double. Um, onion, well, right? yeah, fr- it's fries are such a cheap food option. Like uh, we ate, uh, we had Texas Roadhouse tonight with my brother and sister. Oh yeah, but, and oh, like nice uh, like choice. all of the options are like uh, steak cut green fries, something else fried. Uh, yeah, I had um, a house salad and green beans. Nice, doubled oh, nice. up on the greens. Dude, I do the Caesar salad there. Do the Caesar salad there. The really Caesar good. salad. I, I hate Caesar, Caesar salad. salad. No, Chicken there it's scissor. nice. Dude, it's nice. But, you know, <laughs> I, I like their house salad though. Their house salad has like yeah, it's good. It's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, and a lot of people don't put eggs in it, but yeah, it's good. That, good stuff, dude. You gotta fuck with that ranch, yeah, yeah. Uh, TJ Dillisnake just went for the uh, yeah. I saw the head kick, kick. <laughs> like yeah, a yeah. dull, hey, hey, fucking dumbass. Dick sucks. <laughs> 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 I have a charge you for that one. Oh, uh, what about you, side? What side do you fuck with, man? Oh that man, French fries, with. rice. If they have it, a lot of places don't have rice. Yeah, side likes rice a lot. That's great. Um, 
you know, mashed potatoes is good too. Uh, onion rings. What do you mean they don't right? serve rice at McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, no, right? Can I have a large rice? <laughs> One rice. Sorry, a <laughs> mech rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't have that, sir. Oh, my bad. Oh, mech oh, so, mech rice? That yesterday yeah. I was at, you know, I was at the Chipotle in EO. Yeah. And uh, so this dude was I've like, yeah, yeah. He asked, <laughs> he's like, okay, so I, at Chipotle, my order is always like, it's either steak or barbacoa, but it's always white rice, no beans. And then my protein. So I, I, you know, you answer this. They ask you the same questions. You answer the same questions over and over again. This dude's just staring me straight in the eyes. He's like, hey, he pay, he puts my burrito on the press. He's like, uh, what kind of rice you want? I was like, white rice. I was like, he's like, what kind of beans do you want? And I was like, no beans. And I, I'm sure to say it loud too because I know they can't like hear very well back there because it's so wow, uh, loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you can't because there's all the like the shit, the cooking and shit. So I I know to raise my voice to them. And uh, he motherfucker crying. looks me in the eyes, puts my white rice on the burrito, puts a, <laughs> puts a plopping heap of black beans right on the burritos, staring me straight in the eyes, like defiantly. And I was like, whoa, 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 no beans. I said no beans. And he's what, like, what did he do? Oh, he oh, said, he said, oh, deal with it. <laughs> my bad. It's like, so yeah, what? it was your bad, bro. Like, Start he, over. Did, he did, looked you, me in did the you ask eyes. for a new one? No, he motherfucking knew what to do and got me a new one without me asking. Didn't take oh, anything man. off the bill. Like but it's just, it, just that kind of way to rob, what way to uh, rob that sort of like, profit still. Well, just <laughs> looking me in the eyes and seeing my answer, and then completely disregarding up. what I said. Oh, no, he probably, how, he was how probably offended by you yelling at him. No beans. <laughs> <laughs> this guy yelled at me. You're gonna <laughs> have black beans. I want to meet this guy, dude. That's that's fucking sad. Well, savage. you know, he was just like, yeah. I guess it was late in his day or I something. I am the one, like, the one. I'm gonna ask a question, and not re respond to his answer. I've no just never, beans. I mean, because it's like some people are like he looked like he was listening too. He was like so engaged and just to. I mean, it was like a sociopathic thing to do, like to not. And that I thought we were. They have more connection. than one type of bean, so not only did you say no they're, beans, yeah, but he thought you said black pinto. beans. Yeah, he's like, oh, diet no coke? beans? Uh, that must be black beans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> D4, you want a Coke or a Diet Coke? Coke. Uh, we'll get you diet then. So. <laughs> Son you guys have Coke or Pepsi? Coke. I'll have a Coke. Diet Coke? No, nobody, no one drinks Diet Coke. Diet Coke? <laughs> diet coke? <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. they, they yeah. were trying to help you with your New Year's resolution, D4. Yeah. Do you so know any, any Chipotle life hacks? Chipotle life hacks, D4 and Joel? Uh, like how to get more well, bang for your buck. If you're trying to go into a place where um, it, it's uh, no, like you can't have weapons, you can conceal a gun in a burrito. <laughs> okay. Life hack. So. I always get a bowl. I feel like you get more in a bowl, but maybe I'm crazy. And then you can also like, hey, can you just add a little bit more? You can ask them, and then most of the time they will. They you don't like uh, they I won't don't. like refuse uh, usually ever. Uh, I don't think I'll ever I'm get like a bowl because ask, yeah. yeah, well, a bowl is like me doing their job for them like putting the stuff in the burrito or in the shell like that's not my job see i don't want like, to be that messy job. dude I, I like to eat it like in small I bites i get mad I don't when like they do it bad like yeah like, yeah, like, when, like they're, when, when they're when they're bad they it, it's like oh you're yeah, yeah you i don't like you did that yeah yeah, yeah then, but hmm, you, you said you you they double wrapped it for you once Joel, while i was with you yeah, I want to be that guy that's like that asks them to dull wrap it every time. But yeah, I do like to think about their profits. Like I, you know, I can't just be asking. Oh for, no, I, they, I can't they, just they be less than a penny yeah. they pay for that yeah. torch. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they're like overcharging you for everything, Joel. They're charging you for lettuce, man. Okay, no guacamole. I mean, guacamole should yeah, be, guac's fucking guacamole three dollars. Should cost Almost, uh, yeah. like three dollars uh, uh, for every little what? ounce. Oh yeah, yeah, for every little cup. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, so yeah. They're, so, they're so it's a joke. So it's not even a full guacamole. As much as gasoline. What the fuck? Yeah. Hey, and hey do I want to fuel up my car or do I want to have guacamole at Chipotle today? Well, bus is free. <laughs> oh, God. I like the bus. Well, if, uh, if anyone's <laughs> watching that frequents Chipotle, what I found and that I watched the video on, and that's how I know this, not that I discovered it. What else um, watch videos? Really like? sad yeah. that you watched the video on this, by the way, well, whatever that... your answer is. <laughs> you, you ask, so if you're, if you're a meat connoisseur, you can ask for half chicken, half steak, and you'll end up getting more because usually they just give you like full, you know, full portions of both. So you'll have both. It it doesn't taste any weirder to me or anything like that. Weird. But uh, side goes yeah. to YouTube. Chipotle, Chipotle life hacks. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was in my recommended. How can I? Get it was a <laughs> recommended. What the fuck are you, are you looking up? <laughs> Taco Bell life hacks. Uh, I mean that. Uh, yeah. You know, talk... <laughs> you know what? I I take that back. Side. I completely believe you with 
random Chipotle videos showing up in your recommendeds because, like I said last night, random snooker videos are in my YouTube recommendeds for some reason, <laughs> and I have no idea why. Like, I have never in my life snooky videos. What the fuck? I mean, I I, I, I clicked it. Like pool shot. Yeah, I got you. I'm just joking. I, mean, I uh, you're damn right. I'm gonna watch the videos now and everything. There's no about snooker, but I mean, what the hell? Where did these come from? Thanks, YouTube. Yeah. Okay, YouTube snooker the one shark. with the like the the fucking. Uh, there's okay. there's stuff on the actual table. Are you sure you didn't watch one video one time, Shadow? Or are they really just like trying to force that content down your throat? They are trying to force it down my throat. I have like I, I never even I knew it existed, but like I never thought. Ah, oh, you know what? There's pinball shit on there, isn't there? And they're like little pinball things on the in snooker, or am what I talking about? Or am I tripping? Is it just the regular pool, I, but with I certain games? I know what you're game? talking about, but there wasn't anything like that on the table. There, there's like there's 15 red balls, and then there's a black ball, a brown ball. A okay, now were the guys ball, were the guys nude oh, from the waist down? Color? <laughs> um, I not wish. again. I think that was just a porn I was watching. <laughs> hey, you guys are all YouTubers, right? What's the next? No, um, no. <laughs> what, what's Lose the to next? Me. Not, uh, not anymore. Glowing, what, tell me what the next glowing hot knife trend is, because I'd like to like uh, get 10 million views for. Uh, doing I'm the putting up one tomorrow. This life. won't be up by tomorrow, but uh, I'm doing uh, glowing hot knife cuts. Glowing no, I'm hot the knife. new one. Oh, versus the glowing hot knife. No, it's, it's gonna be versus the wrist. Fight. <laughs> glowing hot glowing... sword fights glowing hot sword. No, I know. One YouTuber I'm not a, a big fan of uh, posted a glowing hot knife uh, reaction video, and I was like, oh, this is going way too far. But I, it, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to do a Kids glowing reacting. hot knife versus glowing hot wife. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I was going to do a basket full of kittens. Is that good? Mm, yeah. No. Okay. No, but what's the next, put it, put what's the next hand, trend, though? That trend's done. I want the next one. I don't what, think it's done. It? I still see a bunch what's of YouTube. Freezing, freezing gonna, cold knife. Like, yeah. for, like, uh, Frozen room knife. <laughs> room temperature stapler. <laughs> versus, <laughs> versus sandwich. Dude, hey, did, when you upload this to you, I'm going to have to do that before you. You might have to bleep out my, my great idea there. Room temperature stapler is the new shit, dude. Dude, that'd you know, be funny. Just as like a... Uh, butter just a stick. Thing, yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna forget that I said that in this that in this podcast, and I'm gonna see like uh, 14 like, million pudes, views. Yeah, yeah. Pudes with 14 million in a week. Here's my stapler. Room temperature. <laughs> Room temperature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stapling shit. Yeah. Oh um, shit. Joel, we should do that whenever I'm over. What? The hot glowing knife thing. It, it, it might be like past due. Then, yeah, but, it might be yeah. past due in ten no, days. No, I literally. Like, I saw, well, you know how everybody, survey the land. You see how everybody puts that, like, that fade on it with the, like, the red, you know? It's kind of like, like, like oh, yeah, Photoshop. Yeah, 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 the Photoshop. Yeah. Photoshop yeah. yeah. I saw somebody put the marble fade on one of those knives. <laughs> not <Yeah>. joking. <laughs> I am awesome. not I fucking CSGO joking. Knife. Yes, like a CSGO knife. They put the marble fade on there. I was like, hey, I'd actually watch this shit. That's a good yeah, thumbnail. Yeah, I need to do a karambit, like, yeah. karam hot glowing yeah, karambit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my Versus god. Versus Christmas noob. What if it's just like me chasing you around with a knife and then it's like trying to like just just poke you with How it? How about we just cut things instead? Okay. That sounds a lot more fun for me. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I have a couple of things I want to do with you, but I, I Yeah, don't, don't don't say in this this video, man. We we have to keep it. I haven't fully my... thought about it. Yeah, yeah. I so like my whole thought process has been like get through the next couple like I have a big video going up uh tomorrow. And then I have one already scheduled for January 1st. January 2nd, I'm going to put up a video saying that I'm, I won't be uploading videos for like two or three days to like get my office and shit in order. And then during that period will be my thinking period to get my mind straight for, for video ideas and hopefully try to, to, to figure out what path I want to go on for the month. And that will be the sidearms time because the sidearms time will be my favorite part of the month. Thanks, man. Favorite part of the year. No. No, well, no, no. I'm no. I'll be good. No. Yeah. I want to do this hot glowing knife versus Chipotle employee who put things <laughs> on my burrito. Hey, hey, listen, man. Last week I was in here and you did something really fucked up. Oh, and but the Chipotle has just been a great. I, I, I don't know if I said. I probably said in another video. I don't know if I said on this podcast, but the, a Chipotle employee gave me advice on how to fix my computer issue, where it was my uh, computer wouldn't stop blue screen and I couldn't figure out why, and it was a really simple fix. And he told me how to do it, and I was about to format my computer the next day because I couldn't figure it out, and I was getting so upset about it. That's pretty cool, but, though. Yeah, yeah you're getting yeah, fucking so, 
Yeah, for every, for every black, for every black bean moron. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh, so oh, 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 no. That's a bullet there. <laughs> Crackers, oh, Mexican oh, food, black beans. Come on, guys. Hold on, let me. You've offended my everyone yeah. now. Right, yeah. For for every black, for every black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, I, I, black. I actually have been carrying around like so. If anyone wants to rob me in the mid Michigan area, I've been carrying around like sixty bucks in my wallet everywhere I go, just nice. in case I see him in Chipotle, so I could tip him like twenty to forty bucks, depending on how generous I feel. But yeah. he has. Been, he hasn't worked there the last uh, two times I've been they, here, they so. fired him <laughs> yeah, for putting yeah, hands yeah. on someone's bird. Where do you get cash <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, no. The computer vice guy's different. That's the cat. He was cashier. Yeah, no, no, I know, but yeah, he, he's, maybe he did it too. Though. He's too smart for the line side. He, he doesn't He doesn't decide on the beans like some imbecile. He, <laughs> he, adds, up, he adds up money. Oh, really? Is that the, the higher paying job at Chipotle, the cashier? I don't know. We ta <laughs> yeah. We've talked about Chipotle too much, man. I don't even know. So do you guys do you guys carry cash around with you usually? I think I, I don't. Twenty bucks. I'm all card all the time. Yeah, I, I hardly like every once in a while I'll have like maybe twenty bucks or something like that. If I have cash, I'm buying a scratch off or something stupid. Mm, good idea. You know, <laughs> I'm when buying I, some stupid investments. Well, yeah, <laughs> I do the grocery shopping for the future, and I I always get like uh, money back at the grocery store so hey, i have i have cash in my wallet like once a week so i'll if you some like maybe i'll buy something with cash the next day and it's like oh no more cash for a week but sometimes i have it i like to have Side cash carries though. about a thousand with them usually you know what i was thinking about like, getting, <laughs> i told yeah, megan i wanted to get anybody. like a thousand two dollar bills to like tip people with i think casey nice did this but, like so i don't want to copy his like dumb life Wait, idea but uh, just, yeah, no, 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 no. Just have like have two dollar bills on you wherever you go, because you can give someone a two dollar bill, and it's not that much money to tip someone, but it's so cool because you never yeah, see a two dollar bill. But they're happy about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, sick, a two dollar bill. A lot of people think it's fake. A lot of people think a two dollar bill is fake as fuck. It's not. It's real. Yeah. It's real and, thing. and I think, I think you're real as fuck, but you're actually fake. Right. Like the viewers think you're real. I like it. <laughs> That's not true. It's true. It hurts my heart when you say that stuff, because I feel like we have a bond, Joel. And Side carries. Well, side carries around the thousand dollars cash. Exactly. He I, I only did for tell him the story. I know what to do. Tell him the story, side. So for, for, I, I don't remember what I went to Michigan for like two years ago, <laughs> but <laughs> hey, you guys are all there, and so is Joel. Okay, I was in Michigan for Joel's wedding, and so was everyone else. Wow, uh, wow. And I was talking, there. I was talking to my parents about like, hey, how much cash should I bring and stuff like that. And like my my family uses mostly cash to pay for stuff, um, so I guess it's kind of like a divide there because i i guess i'm different is that a cultural, is that a cultural yeah, thing yeah it, it might be I, don't trust I, I think i think they're the just banks. well they're scared that like it, they'll uh they'll, their card number will get stolen and like they won't know or whatever because they they yeah, still have like the, the paper divide. statements yeah it's an yeah. age thing um so i like i i, I signed well, up if cash gets for stolen you're pretty much fucked if your car gets stolen then you can just rebuke the charges well, yeah, yeah but true. still, no, no one wants to deal with a headache in the Jeff Field. It's not really that yeah, headache. I'd rather just not yeah. have money. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck hey, it, you man, take I'm, it. I'm not the one who does it. I'm not the one. one. You're the one carrying around $1,000 in fucking yeah, cash. Yes, I, yes. I, I did that, that one really... time. <laughs> yeah, we're like, and how much money? Fun. He opens his wallet. Tell him about how much you tipped the first time. Zero dollars. <laughs> we had to train this motherfucker, okay? I, what are you talking about? The the lady. Okay, so the the server wasn't that bad, but I thought we were all going to, like, Put a thing in at the end, like, "Hey, this is, uh, let's leave twenty. You know, I'm just using as an example. Let's say twenty dollars as a tip. Let everyone put in, you know, like two dollars or something." I thought someone was gonna do that, and then you guys just all got up and left, and I was like, "Well, fuck." We all put, put it with a card, yeah, and we put yeah, it on the yeah. card. Right? <laughs> um, we had so to I, no, we had to teach you about tipping. That is a true statement. You had no clue. What, how, how, okay, no, so we have a divide in the crew. Tip, there's shit. a there's a divide in the crew. The people that worked in food service are all about. Um, tipping people and that how because in America, uh, uh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, in America, we have to, it's kind of like it's a thing where we tip people because some employers don't pay very much. Like I know when I waited tables, I got paid two thirteen an hour, and I had to depend on tips to. Uh, I don't agree with it, but I had to I had to depend on tips to uh, make a living. And uh, in America, that's the way it is. In every other country, that's not the way it is. And so. Um, side, he just didn't know because he was young and didn't know, but uh, we have some members of the crew that literally don't tip. They tip very, very little, or they've gotten better at it, or they don't tip at all. And so... Um, let, me, let me defend myself for a second. Ahead. I So, yeah, I think you're talking about when I used to order a lot of pizza, and I always, yeah, I, yeah, I would only tip $2. Exactly. My, my order was only like $10. 
Bullshit. Uh, Gen- it, bullshit. It, they, uh, you know how I have the Papa John's Rewards Deluxe. Shut the I'm fuck a, up. I'm a, I'm kind a, of a, a big frequent, deal. A Can you remind flyer, people about two podcasts ago when you talked about I think, I think what you ordered at McDonald's? Pie or side. <laughs> what deluxe? Like the pizza pie. I said, can you remind the people about two podcasts ago when you told us what your McDonald's order was and that comes out to about 26 bucks and you're like, <laughs> you're, just, you're trying to tell me that you're paying under 10 bucks for a pizza? Bullshit. Yeah, dude. You're buying I, I, wings, breadsticks, no, a fucking no. two liter. Fuck off. Wrong. Wrong. A diet soda. Yeah. Diet Coke. I mean, it, it wouldn't be ten dollars every time. There'd be some times where I would. I I, I try to tip. It would be fifty. Twenty percent. But and if my my order is only ten dollars, I'm not gonna. Tip you ain't never tip twenty percent in your life. Shut the I, I almost always do. See, I, 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 I like this. Like, I, I like this much? type of conversation because one is really you know standing the ground. The other one's trying to. Defend no, but you're. Si- I like, remember no, you, you seriously don't. saying like I gave him a dollar. I didn't know that I was supposed to tip. I I didn't know, and we had to literally say, "Hey, this is okay. Mm. This is not okay." I remember this like distinctly talking about this with you, and you're like, "Okay, well now I know." And yes, I agree with you. And you, we went about it, and then we had other members of the crew that were like, "No, I don't fucking tip them anything. That's stupid. Why would I tip them anything? Their their job pays for them to do that. All that shit." I'm like, "Well, it's." It's common courtesy, and if you ever work, that makes food it sound really you... bad. I don't know who. Yeah. I don't know. Did anyone have that opinion that they don't tip? That like they don't tip for things. I mean, I, w- I was not there. Yeah, I, we did. I, I think... part of it, but I, I don't. Like we did. I swear. I, I like tip a lot. I don't want to. I don't, don't, don't want to call people, that member out. People think I'm the one that does not does not feel that way. <laughs> yeah. Like I tip people a, more than they need. Probably. I feel. I think like. the last time I well the only time I've only tipped a dollar was whenever uh, we went to Dave and Buster's that one time. Yeah, that was bad service, and I agree with yeah. that. Like, uh, you should pay I for your service. Well, I'm saying you're over exaggerating examples. I am me, not. That makes no, I'm like, not because I, you I've, talked I've about many, many times. Look like shit. Many yeah. times. Many Which times. He might, he when might you be places. a piece of shit. I don't really know side that well. I've only ever tipped a dollar at that one time. <laughs> All right, you're just trying to say that. Usually it's two dollars. I'm gonna let you do that. Usually it's double. Double the amount. Yeah. Can I can I say something about tipping? Go ahead, real quick. I. Also, I, I do just kind of want to throw this in there. Uh, I was, I always tip very well, and I always have. But I, I never really understood, and this, this is mostly for like, I guess like pizza delivery and shit like that. I never understood the, like, okay, well, if, if I'm only ordering like a pizza and somebody's delivering it to me, he doesn't get as much of a tip. But if I order three pizzas and wings the delivery driver gets more of a tip i never understood that like i feel like you should just it's like, not his the, fault how much food you order he's still deliver yeah like <laughs> if, he, if he had to make more than one trip then sure but like it's i'm not, with you Jenna. i'm it's with you not, like so i i would always i would always give like no matter how much food i order i ordered because like i never ordered 25 pizzas or anything like everything could always fit in that one little hot bag or whatever so like I, I always tipped him like you know eight nine bucks like depending on like what time he um what like what time we order like if it, if it was in like the middle of rush hour like I always felt like an asshole so I'm just like here like I, I think one time like I tipped him more than my order was worth because I felt like a dick and that's kind of my um, point sidearms is if you got a ten dollar pizza and you gave him two dollars two dollars is not a great tip. What what, what am I supposed to do, man? I'm just saying it's not a great tip by itself. It's not a great tip. Well, you guys are so much tip. Maybe you should bring that out with Papa John instead of me. (laughs) (laughs) Papa's in the house. I know, I saw that. Uh, Fucking, have you guys ever seen that Mythbusters video uh, where they did a myth to see if girls with larger breasts get more oh, tips. They, they do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That it was, was that was like one of the best Mythbusters <laughs> one was... because it was so I, I don't think it I've was seen confirmed that one. so hard. Yeah, yeah. So that she was like the had episode. Uh, the what, one that you're what? talking about, Shadow, the other day? You yes. guys were talking about this and I wasn't there, Well, not so, not about this specific up. episode, but oh, we were talking about myth. Mythbusters. Yeah. Well, I I don't know if you want to get into it or not, Shadow. Okay, well, well, first yeah. I, w- I want to say this yeah. was a great episode of myth. Like, you could probably just look the individual video up on YouTube. Like, yeah, I think I will. Uh, lar- like, larger breast <laughs> myth or, so- or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, just look for breast on YouTube. A uh, lot in the gaming category. Uh, but they, the, it was just like she had like a, you know, a flatter chest or whatever. Not, not like some. I, I think it's just like her normal breast size, which you know, great woman. Uh, regardless, I don't know her. And uh, she, she got like decent tits, but then when she put on these fake double D's and like cleaved it up a little bit, like a little cleave, cleave, she started oh, wait, getting no, banged. 
Oh, she didn't cleave it up. I'm not looking at it right now. You're not. No, she, no, what? she was. She was just wearing a. Uh, okay. A yeah. I, okay. I'm, that might be an exaggeration. Yeah, I think it was just a polo shirt with. Uh, you could see how you were hoping they were for underneath. the cleave. Yeah, yeah. I, I was. I, I th no, I think I was just exaggerating for the sake this, of this story. Was, this wasn't the episode. So. Mm. Oh, are you looking at? Oh, you're looking at it now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> oh, was. Uh, it, it. It was great. Like that's a real thing. So if you have, if you're a woman with large breasts, uh, service industry or Twitch, or if you're a waiter, get yeah. <laughs> Twitch is probably a better option. Twitch is a better yeah. option. What's your favorite game? I don't know. Oh, Gaming Just talk get shows. a low cut yeah. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> eating stream. Social eating. <laughs> Social eating is the best. But there's like, do you guys tip the Sonic people? Uh, mm. no. <laughs> we don't have Sonic around here, fella. That's uh, the South I thing. do from time to time, especially if they have to go back and get something for me. Um, but for the most part. It's it's probably fifty fifty to be honest. Oh, you can have one so of my that's cheese the main I don't. Yeah, that exactly. Cash is the big thing because you can't leave a tip on your card, and I pay with card a lot of times. But if I have extra I've, cash, uh, I do. I, I think it was a golf with friends video of mine where I asked like, you know, like I, I asked you guys the same question, and then I asked the comments like, "Hey, if anyone knows, like, do people at Sonic get paid minimum wage, or like, do they have to live off of tips?" Yeah, I think uh, I think they said they they get paid below minimum wage, so they I mean they are pretty like they have to pretty much get tips to get their shit um i don't, I don't know but if that's true but or not, but but, but it could be i feel like that's kind of like putting the people in a bad position because i would i could you know what's stopping me from just walking to the restaurant I'm, I'm already there to just get my food you know so it's like i'm just spending extra money they actually have sonics now outside um that you can go and sit down in well, like you, can, you can sit down outside yeah no, inside they have it inside like, you yeah, go in and you pick up a phone and shit. Fuck? Yeah, that's all. Why do I need a fucking guy with roller it's skates? America's to drive in. Why would you need fuck? to go sit down somewhere? I drive in the fucking place. Yeah, I, I, I drive in the place, get my food, and leave. Yeah. I don't need to tip anyone. <laughs> 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 I, I've, I've never, I mean, I haven't also, like, haven't eaten at Sonic since, like, a couple years ago, but um, I, I haven't tipped. Like, like, once I started paying for stuff, I mean... Because I was a kid up until recently. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So, this just in. Yeah, this just in. You're always a kid, dude. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't think those people should be tipped because you're not doing something that... I mean, it, you, you should because they don't pay you, but it's it's not like... That's, that's all it's, Sonic it's employees really watching shitty. us. Yeah, shout out to all the Sonic employees. <laughs> I, I side doesn't think your job's worth it. <laughs> it's it's not. I mean, and 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 people are like, oh, oh that, that's how they that's how they make a living. Well, why don't you just go work somewhere else? A that's lot of it's a lot of kids. Yeah. It's like high school kids, college. Well, yeah, kids. but why don't they go work at like some <clears throat> other place? Well, a lot of them it's their first job. I'll be honest. A lot of them it's their first job they've ever had, and uh, that's what they're looking. They're always looking for those midday jobs because they already have the, like the weekends and the nights full because the kids are doing it. They don't have like the older, uh, you know, graduated. Uh, people that are can work those midday jobs, so they always like have like openings for people to come in and be a car hop is what they call them. Um, yeah. Do but, so. Do yeah. those people only bring out food though? Like, do they do anything else? No, they they help like make shakes and drinks and stuff like that. But for the most part, that's what they do is okay. they car hop. So, and they go back and forth. So, so if already... you tip well, if you tip them well enough, they will suck you off. No, they won't. Oh, this is a. That's no, no, no. That's went to a Sonic else. in a bad part of town. No, <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough times for that employee. But, yeah. Um, but I mean, they're they're already working in fast food, so why would they just not work somewhere else? Yeah, Dude, the, the worst part is like fifteen dollars side for these fast food employees. Okay. Oh. Get, get into the oh. get into the oh, shout, shout out, you have the floor. So the uh, people no, with fine. an education make less money than them. Makes sense, right? Right. I don't agree with all that. I mean, like, Rex the fifteen dollars per hour <laughs> suck it, suck. at McDonald's? No, you shouldn't. You should be suck getting it, paid the lowest. That should be a build up job. You should be as fast food should be a build up job for you to go and be work at. I mean, you can make it into management at McDonald's yeah, or yeah, something, yeah. and they make decent money. I mean, but I don't want the person taking my order that's messed it up nineteen times to get yeah. paid fifteen dollars. You an can't hour. do no pickles I when I, I specifically said no pickles. <laughs> Long $15 story. Dollars an hour is not a lot. It is a lot. It it's is a lot of money. not a lot. For standing behind a counter and just it putting stuff a in, a, in a monitor wrong? Put, a lot of money. If you do the math and oh, you... Fuck that. No, seriously. <laughs> if, you do, if you do the math, $15 an hour and, you know, assuming that it's, you know, it's somebody working full time. 
Um, but after they get taxes taken out and everything, like it's only, I think like twenty five, twenty six thousand dollars a year. Like that's a great living, twenty six thousand dollars a year per for person. somebody with no education. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's yeah. So you you're not. Why is that? Why is that a bad thing? Like, oh, you're working at McDonald's, so you should. That's actually thirty-one thousand two hundred dollars a year. That's right. Wh- I like. Taxes. That's well, I hate that the I hate that the argument is framed. The, the argument's always framed as like fast food employees when, really, like that's that's a losing battle anyway. If you want to talk about minimum wage, you shouldn't be talking about fast food employees because they're all going to be replaced by, uh, like autonomous. Robots. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ro- they're all going to be repl- They literally. Will be replaced by robots probably within I'm okay with that. ten years. Yeah, and I'm okay with it too. And I'm okay with if your job uh, can be replaced by robots, then it, you should. I mean, I, I'm sorry, coal miners. I'm sorry, uh, truck drivers. Like I, I just, I, I, I it's, uh, it's kind of a shitty thing to say because some people make their like entire living on it. But there's some jobs. That's the benefit of like technology. Like some, some jobs should be lost and i know that's like really that's kind of a bad thing to it really directly affects the state i live in like i, I mean they they ship jobs overseas but also a lot of just that what what used to take five people to do in an auto factory takes one person to manage a robot that does the job with 20 people now or like it, it's it, and that that directly affected michigan like that whole the whole autonomous jobs thing i think i would argue michigan is the hardest hit state by state by that and like maybe the entire country but i i at, at the end of the day I, I do think it's a good thing to not have people that do those jobs and you know do do safer jobs or do other things in society. I mean, I've I don't know if this is really going to touch on the point that you just made, but I, I do yeah. want to say I I don't like the argument of McDonald's employees shouldn't be making fifteen dollars an hour because then where's the motivation to get a better job like. The motivation to get a better job, like, I never worked at McDonald's, but that job has to fucking suck. Like, that's the motivation to, you know, go to school and, you know, get an education and get a better job. But the problem is, like, if you're making $8 an hour, then you're probably not going to be able to have as much time for college or whatever because you're probably going to have to pick up another job and you're not going to be able to afford your college classes or, or whatever like I'm, you're going to take on student loans like every other american so <clears throat> i ain't sure. taking on no student loans i'm fucking Man, I'm if we want to talk about broken things but the college system the in institution america. in america yeah built uh, but for you to be in the hole from the age of 18 on yeah, pretty much. Why not true. start your adult life behind the eight ball? <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, in the deepest hole. If when you turn eighteen at your graduation, they should have a it's ceremony. The richest where you'll they be for you, fifteen, yeah, twenty years. The richest, yeah, right. richest you'll be for a very long time. They should have a ceremony where they push you into a a, a ceremonial hole and say, "Welcome <laughs> to life." Yeah, bitch. You've yeah, got that bitch. If, if they if they increase the minimum wage to fifteen, won't that make everything cost more? Yep. Yeah, eight, you'd have eight, the five dollar no. menu instead of no. the dollar menu. No, no, no. Hey, really quickly, quickly before we get into it, co- anyway. who's this motherfucker? Cody's walking out. I don't with, know. This little boy. I don't know. I don't know. It, it looks this. This dude should be in the ring, dude. This. I mean, he looks. Like, <laughs> he got a little chub, but he looks like he, he has a fighter's he eyes. Get. That's probably his little brother or something. Hi. Uh, by the way, guys, we got to end the podcast. We are going way over the hour, but I want to say thank you. We'll we'll touch on this later because I think. It is something that we can talk about. And plus, I really like the banter that we're getting today. It was really good uh, stuff brought up by everybody, including you, Shadow, even though yeah, you're we not gotta, a person. We, we need the full attention for Cody Dominic. <laughs> for, Cody, for Cody Cruz. Cody, Cody Cruz. But, and um, then Aranda Arouse Me. Arouse Me. Noon, Amanda, oh, yeah. said Noon, Amanda said Nunes. Send nudes. Send nudes. Oh, yeah, boy. That's what I was trying to say. But I want to thank everybody for coming again. If you like this type of stuff, like the banter and all that stuff, that it's really good stuff. And uh, all the way through, I enjoy this type of podcast where we just get let it flow. And we really have a lot of topics to talk about, but one thing takes on another and it kind of snowballs into the end result. But uh, thank you again for coming along with the podcast. If you like this kind of content, let us know down in the comments. Also, leave a like on this video if you want uh, something talked about. Uh, you can tweet me on Twitter. Comments are a great place, too. we got a couple links down below for you today if you want to check those out. And uh, I love your face. We'll see you next time. Remember, if you want to check... I'm happy Philip DeFranco. Did you do that last week? It's not, I always say that. I, I, I love that. your face. 
Yeah, I've always said that. Say, why don't you say, what's up, you beautiful bastard? <laughs> what's up, you beautiful I'm, bastard? I just don't want, I don't want you to get sued. Like the video if you're yeah, watching this in 2017. Oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> and we get SoundCloud. likes before the video starts. Oh, it's over. Before the video starts. SoundCloud, <laughs> and we're doing hot knives next week on the podcast. Yeah. So yeah. Don't miss it. <laughs> Glow, glowing hot, dude. Glowing hot search, knives. Search, 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 a thousand degree. A thousand what? degree, yeah. yeah. A thousand, yeah. One, one person decided to do that, so everybody has to do that because that's the search result. It's so It's funny moments. Dude. Funny moments, dude. Every day. All right. See you guys. Peace.